What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm here to talk about the 2022 NHL draft. Now I want to talk about the 2022 NHL draft because it has changed dramatically and who could possibly go first overall. At the start of the season it's Shane Wright, Shane Wright, Shane Wright, Shane Wright but now it's more of a wide open territory. Uh, there's a few players who could come in, but Shane Wright is definitely allowing more people to come into that conversation of first overall. And in this video, I wanted to talk about six players total who I could see going f first overall at this draft. And then at the end, I want to mention who I think will actually go first overall at the draft. So if you want to skip the entire rundown of all the players and just go land, I don't care, do that if you need to. But I'm going to start with the rundown because starting off with the first player I could see going first overall is right winger from the Liga, Joachim Kemmel. Now, Joachim Kemmel in 29 games has 12 goals, 6 assists for 18 points. And these are some solid points in the Liga. But, the but with him is that he was so good to start. He had like 18 points in 15 games. And since that point, it's, his scoring's come to a complete halt. Uh, he, has not been put up, he has not put up a point in at least his last 10 games. His World Juniors didn't look great. And I know these are signs that you wouldn't... I like. I, you might be questioning right now, why do I still have him as a first overall candidate then? And that's just because simply, if he can refine that scoring touch, if he can refine all of that, then I could see a team willing to take a risk on him because he just has so much offensive potential if he can get it going again that I don't know if a team will be willing to pass that by even if they are first overall. But at number two, another player who could go first overall is centerman from the WHL, Matthew Savoy. Now, Matthew Savoy has had a bit of a drop in his point scoring, not as violent as Joachim Kemmel because he just went like, oh, no. But Matthew Savoy still producing at a decent rate, although it has just dropped. Uh, he was at one point leading the WHL in points, but now he is about 11th, I think I looked, and he was like 11th. So he's dropped a bit, but in 47 games, he has 23 goals, 41 assists for 64 points. And he has been having a really solid season for himself as a whole. Uh, very, very good power play guy. A guy who in the future I could see being a, a top six forward, good on the power play. And a team who's first overall may just want to take that because there's a bit less of a risk than a Shane Wright or even a obviously a Joachim Kemmel that you might want to go for a bit of a safe option. I think Matthew Savoy is that safer option. But actually, the only risk with him is he is that he's very small, but his skill and his overall play kind of makes up for that. As well as uh, this next guy who's also pretty small, but also a pretty safe first overall pick if you took him there. And that is centerman from the USDP, Logan Cooley. Logan Cooley in 31 games has 16 goals, 28 assists for 44 points. Logan Cooley thinks the game so well. I was watching highlights and he more than anybody else, he's fast. He thinks the game well. And this is a player who I see being a great player one day. And a player who I think definitely has the potential to go first overall. Uh, his point totals are very good right now. Um, he's very dynamic. The, definitely, I think he probably was the most dynamic player of all the players who was, who's on this list. The most creative by far and i definitely see him being a good nhler one day i i just see it but moving on to the fourth player and this is the only defenseman on the list and that is from the slovakia league simone nemic i probably said it wrong i'm sorry about that but uh simone nemic in 35 games has only one goal but 24 assists for 25 points now if you're drafting a defenseman early, I think you have to be drafted. He has to have some offensive potential. And Yo and Simone Nemec definitely has a good amount of offensive potential, I think. Now, only the one goal, yes, but the 24 assists is very impressive. And this is no kids league. This is a men's league where he's putting up these pretty solid point totals. And if he can eventually translate that over to the NHL, and he's a very solid... It's not like he's just good offensively. He's good defensively. He's good offensively. And I think that he definitely has the potential... If a team is in need of a defenseman, not Buffalo, if a team other than Buffalo is drafting first overall and they're in need of a defenseman, maybe they take that risk. Maybe they possibly go for Simone Nemec first overall. But uh, moving on to the fifth player, and this is the player who's really shook things up recently, uh, and that's Juraj Slavkowski. Uh, I kind of slept on him a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I had him at around 16th in my last mock draft, and then he went to the Olympic Games, and man, he went on fire fire like a goal per game I think he might have got the MVP he played fantastic and that just completely shook things up for me and now I see him as maybe right maybe he could go first overall that Olympic game performance was just so amazing and he like only has four points in 21 games in the Liga but still a very solid player and obviously in the Liga you might not be getting a lot of ice time there's a lot of things that can contribute to a lack of points in a SHL or a Liga or a KHL or a league like that but 
He's also to the bigger side, which makes him even more attractive to the other teams. So this is a guy who has a lot of things going for him. And a team may just be willing to take him at first overall. And the last player on this list, I saved him for last on purpose because it's kind of the most obvious. And that is centerman from the OHL, Shane Wright. Shane Wright, the reason I'm making this video basically, uh, he has played below expectations throughout the season. A little bit better lately, but I, went, I saw the World Juniors uh, on the TV and... He just didn't look fantastic. A lot of players stood out, and he was not one of them. Uh, Shane Wright right now in 43 games has 21 goals for and 41 assists for 62 points. Once again, these aren't bad point totals. It's just there was way higher expectations with how he did at the uh, under-18 World Juniors and how he did in his first year in the OHL. And I think that middle year of middle year of that he missed in the OHL definitely hurt his development a bit it definitely hurt his development but if he can bounce back and he can play very solid throughout the rest of this season uh, then I definitely could see a team picking him first overall but now who do I think will be the first overall pick of this draft right now all these players I listed are players that I think will be the top six we'll say and of these six who do I think goes number one because it's really close I had to sit here for 30 minutes and really think about who I thought should go number one overall and at the end of the day, I ended up sticking with the boring option, and that's Shane Wright. Now, the reason I think Shane Wright will go first overall, his offensive potential and roof is too high to skip on. His he's been he had such a good first year and such a girl such a good World Junior 18s that maybe this is just an off year because he didn't get a play last year, and it's just you can't skip on him. He has a higher roof than I think anybody in this draft. Now, although he might not hit that roof, it's the highest roof, I think. Now, very close call between everybody. Joachim Kemmel was my number six just because of how he's been playing lately. But other than that, like Logan Cooley, I really like him. I'm really high on the guy. Uh, Matthew Savoy, very good. And defenseman Nemec. And then Yaroslav Koski with that amazing Olympic game performance. But at the end of the day, I just, I see it being Shane Wright. Uh, I don't know how else to say it. I see it being Shane Wright. But thank you guys for watching if you are still here. And I'm repping the Sabres today, hoping that maybe they get, the, I'm, I'm hoping they get the first overall pick as a Sabres fan. I only have a few jerseys back there. But thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.